Intel Meteor Lake is a big deal and not just because it is the first SoC CPU that features different dice for individual functions but because it also has some of the best AI capabilities you are going to witness on a CPU for the first time. Up until now we only heard rumors and leaks about Meteor Lake being crazy fast with its iGPUs that could potentially outperform even AMD's Phoenix APUs for the same power consumption. But it has now been confirmed that Meteor Lake is not just limited to gaming. So here are the top stories for today but before that make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any latest updates in the future. As reported by Computerbase, Intel has big plans for artificial intelligence. At Computex, the company showcased some of the Meteor Lake's crucial features that included next-gen power management, integrated graphics, and the all-new integrated AI engine. Till now, Intel was solely focused on increasing the core performance of Alder and Raptor Lake CPUs, but the Meteor and Aero Lake CPUs will step on a whole new level with their power efficiency and AI capabilities. Here specifically, we are talking about the 16-core Meteor Lake CPU on a laptop that features a GPU, CPU, and a VPU which is the versatile processing unit responsible for sustained AI and AI offload. The VPU has several abilities like performing real-time video editing and even generating images through text. According to the presentation, it can perform advanced blur, background replacement and can even enable the eye contact feature just like Nvidia's broadcast eye contact. What's even more amazing is that it can do all of this by consuming a fraction of the total power consumed by a CPU or a GPU and as per Intel, the VPU consumes just 20% of the total power a CPU or GPU needs to do all these AI operations. But there is a catch. Intel says that to make the VPU work properly, you definitely need the right software because it accounts for almost 90% of its capability. This is why Intel is partnering with multiple companies like Microsoft, Adobe, Zoom, Tencent and several others. With this, they are definitely going to have a big upper hand over AMD because at the moment, the red team doesn't have such plans to scale the AI functionalities of its next-gen CPUs. Even though the Zen 5 based family looks promising with a 25% IPC uplift, the AI boom will make Intel stand out at the top and this is coming right before the end of this year. And talking about APUs, there is still no doubt that AMD is currently dominating the market with its handheld gaming devices such as Steam Deck and ROG Ally. While the Ally is quite faster than the Steam Deck, it is not able to beat the latter at lower power consumption. But things changed quickly after ASUS released a new firmware for the Ally. As demonstrated by Dave2D, the ROG Ally is now performing 15-20% to better than before on lower power consumption. Here in this chart, you can see that at 15 watts, the Ally was matching the Steam Deck. But surprisingly, it was way behind INU2S which uses the same Ryzen Z1 APU as the Ally. But after the new firmware update, the Ally is now equivalent to the INU2S. 2S at both 15 watts and 25 watts TDP. Even at a very low TDP of 9 watts, the Ally is now performing way better than before where it delivers up to 2 times more FPS in games like RDR2. However, Steam Deck is clearly ahead at 9 watts because of its custom Mangog APU, which is officially rated at 3 to 15 watts compared to the Ally, which is specifically designed to work in a power range of 15 to 30 watts. And that's why when you try to go lower than that, the Ally starts to lose its performance rapidly. And finally, we have a big change in how Nvidia will get its GPU chips manufactured in the near future. As reported by Tom's Hardware, Nvidia is looking interested in getting its GPU chips manufactured by Intel. In the QA session, Nvidia CEO Jensen said that they are working to diversify their chips production and the results for an Intel test chip were pretty good. He added that aside from Samsung, Nvidia is also open to manufacturing with Intel and the recent results for the Intel test chips were looking good. This came right after one year since Nvidia started talks with Intel so that the latter can become one of Nvidia's chip manufacturing foundries. Not surprisingly, in January, Intel announced that it is producing 3 nanometer chips for a major data center customer. According to the rumors, this customer might be Nvidia, who wants more wafers for producing AI GPUs, as despite doing all the efforts, Nvidia is not able to fulfill the demands of its clients, as currently TSMC is the only GPU chip producer for the green team. This makes sense because currently both Intel and TSMC are building their own fabrication units in Arizona, and TSMC is only able to offer chips based on a 5 nanometers process node, whereas Intel has all already started production for 3 nanometer chips which are supposedly going to be used for data center GPUs. As for the RTX 5000 Blackwell GPUs, Nvidia is going to stick with TSMC's 3 nanometer process node and Intel will itself use TSMC for its battle-made GPUs that are going to use the 4 nanometer process node. Right now, Blackwell is the only hope for Nvidia if it wants its reputation back for being gamer-friendly or Intel takes it away with Battle Mage. 
Intel has already shown a dramatic increase in gaming performance with the ARC A750 which you can watch right here and I wish that it keeps getting better. Lastly, if you found the video informative then hit the like button and subscribe to never miss the latest hardware stories. Make sure to turn on the notifications to get notified every time I upload a video and I will see you in the next one.